For this video, we are working off of 06 lifting legs under the chapter 3 folder. So if you're working with my source files, feel free to use this as a reference. What we're going to do now is add some lift to the legs as the cycle continues. So if we start to look here, we want to see when the legs start to pass each other. Right here, it appears at around frame 6 that we can make this change. We want to add lift to the back leg since it's the back leg that is moving forward. Let's click once on Red Thunder Separated, and I can use E to bring up the puppet, and we'll click on the puppet to gain access. And using the selection tool, I'm just going to zoom in here and locate the back foot, which is right here. If I click on the heel, it will reveal the other pins, enlarging them so it's easier to work with this. And I'm just going to click and drag and start bringing these pins up. So something like that. Then we'll use the knee to compensate. And I can zoom back out here to see what this looks like. Now that's a little bit too high, but that's okay because I can come in and very easily make my corrections to the action. So maybe a little bit lower like that. And we can come in about like that, and I can straighten the foot out. We'll work with the feet here in a little bit and add a little bit more of a dynamic approach to those. But for right now, this should work. And you can see when we loop up like this, the foot goes up and then it goes back down. And we want to repeat this now for the front leg when it crosses over like this. So at frame 18, we're going to come in click on the front leg now, and basically do the same thing. Just come up like this. And come down like that. Now at this point, we can see that the front leg is definitely being detached from the pelvis. So we can try to situate that as well. I might have to zoom in to get a better view of what's going on here, but we can just come in and try to make that leg reconnect so that it looks more seamless with the shadows and everything like that. So that is looking good. You can see it's looking like that. So let me come back here and just hit the play button. And you can see that it is coming along. The legs are a little bit glitchy right now, but we are going to start adding shifting weight next. And once we start to adjust the pelvis and the body, that might correct some of these issues and allow us to make further corrections if needed. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video.